Welcome back to Three Months of Modal Logics, the sequel to 100 Days of Logic here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with epistemic logic, looking at Axiom 4 in Doxastic and Epistemic Logic. So, Axiom 4, as we've seen it before, kind of has to do with doubling strong operators. So saying that a single strong operator implies a doubled strong operator. We've seen it before in Alethic modal logic and temporal modal logic and a close relative in deontic modal logic. So doxastic and epistemic logic are going to have similar axioms. They're going to look like this. If S believes that P, then S believes that S believes that P. If S knows that P, that means that S knows that S knows that P. While doubling possibility or obligation may not make much intuitive sense, the duplication of belief or knowledge seems relatively intuitive, at least in its meaning. It seems that we can kind of understand what it means to believe that you believe something, or to know that you know something, or not know that you know something. The doxastic axiom affirms that if you believe something, you also believe that you believe it, and on down the line, while the epistemic axiom states that if you know something, you know that you know it. For example, if Havelock believes Mr. Waffles is in the palace, then Havelock believes that Havelock believes that Mr. Waffles is in the palace. The same will apply to knowledge. Hopefully, that's clear. It gives you a good sense of what these axioms mean. Now, including these axioms may lead to a problem known as the KK regress, or the knowing that you know regress. Simply put, this problem is that you must have an infinite number of beliefs to have even one. If you believe X, you must believe that you believe X, you must believe that you believe that you believe X, you must believe that you believe that you believe that you believe X, and so on. Since it seems quite difficult for humans to contain an infinite number of beliefs in our minds, it seems quite difficult for us to hold a very finite set of beliefs, let alone an infinite number of them, there may be some concern as to whether or not it's possible to believe or to know anything if these axioms are accepted. Up next, we're going to be looking at axiom 5 in doxastic and epistemic logic. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.